SDG is uh, the last hope that we have to have a sustainable world. The region will have to understand that the, the long-term challenges on Earth, whether it's climate change, whether it's peace, uh, whether it's uh, uh, equity, uh, that these are systemic and structural uh, issues that needs to be addressed. And, and we need to look at how we exist on Earth uh, collectively rather than in fragmented silos. Sustainable development goals are sending us a clear message that economic and environmental well-being are indivisible. Financing is the catalyst. All of this will mean something more if we can truly democratize the capital markets so that a woman sitting in Laos, a Ming, a woman sitting in Laos, can be actually growing her business by getting some funding for, say, someone sitting in Bangladesh and Hassan sitting in Bangladesh and basically being able to be the investor. So it really is everyone becomes an investor, everyone becomes an entrepreneur. Making use of ICT as the vehicle, uh, lever leveraging it, you know, coming up with all these infrastructure and innovative solutions, to me that's the key. Access to reliable, cheap energy. Uh, cheap because uh, everyone should be able to afford it, regardless of uh, uh, where they work. Uh, and also clean because it has to be, uh, you have to you know, uh, ensure that uh, emission of carbon dioxide is cut short. The government, especially the politicians, they should make a commitment to implement this sustainable development goal by ensuring uh, uh, disaster risk reduction and the climate change adaptation issue in the development plan. For me, the most important goal for Asia and Pacific is Goal 13, taking action against climate change. Climate change is now affecting every con country on every continent, with the most impacted being the poor and vulnerable. The sustainability and the health of the environment is very much related to the health and the well-being of the nation. I mean Maldives as a low-lying country and a country which is dependent on fisheries and tourism sector. We rely on the environment and its natural resources very much. I think we should team up to save the environment right now or it will be too late tomorrow. Most of cities in the Asia-Pacific are very prone to extreme climate events, which will affect the most vulnerable communities and worsen the impact of urbanizations. With proper planning by prioritizing climate change in the city agenda, I believe the city government together with all its stakeholders will be able to create a resilience. We have to look at uh, consumption patterns at a global level where we need an absolute reduction in material throughput and energy use, but we also have to look at national levels and very important we have to start looking at different stakeholder groups like youth and we have to be looking at uh, our cities because this is the, the thriving hub of, of the economy. The most important thing is not only to provide a kind of that, that enough water to the people, but to have a safe water to the people, especially on that the sanitation improvement. That's very important. So that uh, the sanitation improvement also should not be only the sanitation with toilets, but sanitation with toilet and the treatment system. Access to clean and affordable water just means that um, people will be healthier and when you have healthy people you improve your livelihoods um, and people are more active and around the community and so if you have an active community this is a great chance for people to adapt to changes of climate change. We need to be the main promoters of sport and healthy lifestyle because it's the best weapon against non-communicative diseases. What I feel is a healthy life is very much important in today's uh, 
time because in this past life nobody is able to take care of his healthy life. Ideally, we'll see uh, parity between men and women, not just in terms of uh, social welfare, but also in terms of workforce, in terms of politics, in terms of the economic participation of women. Girls are still damaging by harmful practices and forced early and child marriage. Every young girl should have an access to education and sexual and reproductive health to fulfill their potentials. The region has been really successful on some fronts in eradicating gender inequality, but I really feel that they need to improve, for example, the sectors that they reach out to. So in particular, my point of view is always to focus on the youth because the youth, as I have proven now, can really make a difference and make a stand on their own when they're given the opportunities to present their opinions and to do what their power enables them to. Everyone needs uh, education, especially uh, women with disability. If they have good education, uh, they will have a good job or good income. The key for socio-economic development is the ability to unleash the creative potential of our children through a high quality educational system, through uh, having strong science and technology institutions, through having an ecosystem where innovation is promoted, and through having linkages with industry and agriculture. from CGM school, I want every girl child to be educated like me. I believe that any any issue in the world can be tackled with education. If, if you provide a child with the right amount of skills, with the right amount of uh, exposure and, and uh, education, that, that broadens the perspective of a child and he looks at things differently and that helps him become a leader himself. And so all these other things that we worry about can be tackled if we create leaders like these. The whole point of SDG for us is no one left behind. Even if we cannot see or cannot hear, we have vision and we have voice. Democracy and good governance are complementary. Peace, sustainable peace. Peace at home, which is actually the, one of the major goals of the sustainable SDGs. We need to make sure that data reflects the reality on the ground. We need to enhance the social protection system and make sure that it encompasses all realms and segments of the population. We are the bear holders of this agenda. The time to act is now. A successful sustainable development agenda can only take place when uh, both uh, the private sector and the public sector, of course with the civil society, work together to achieve these sustainable development goals. For this we need partnerships at all levels. The ESCAP should uh, display some kind of roadmap for all these countries, a uh, kind of menu that they can provide and the, the, out of these menus, some countries can provide, uh, she can uh, do better on this, better on that, so that you know, they can be very selective in terms of achieving whatever the priority they have. Not one island nation can survive or can do anything by itself. So um, in the past years, we've worked closely with other governments and we truly believe that by working together with the other um, governments, we can somehow pursue this further, pursue the, uh, the agenda of conserving water and advocating for uh, mitigation options for climate change, especially for our region because we know that we are definitely um, a few d disasters away from being extinct. It's incumbent upon the Asia-Pacific community to demonstrate how we could achieve the SDGs using uh, science, technology and innovation. But there's one gap though that we need to realise. Uh, for most of the countries, the developing countries in this region, we lack uh, capacity, we lack the skill, uh, we lack the know-how. So we need to build on that so that uh, 
individual countries could be more prepared in addressing the challenges of uh, the SDG. Asia has a key uh, to attain sustainability uh, of, uh, of the world. Uh, but Asia lacks um, uh, good governance in that sense uh, to promote sustainability agenda and uh, also uh, basic resources needed for that. And now the world is uh, really committed to this and uh, more funding, more technologies uh, and um, uh, more capacity building opportunities are going to be created and uh, therefore Asia should uh, grasp these opportunities to make itself uh, more sustainable. Education for all.